Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man. Guys, today is a super important video. By the way, don't forget to subscribe, share, give the video a thumbs up. It helps the algorithm, but it really helps the channel. And this is extremely important information today. I'm not giving you any medical advice on this one. I'm definitely not making any medical claims, but I'm pulling this data straight out of PubMed, National Library of Medicine. I love that they did this long-term research study on molecular hydrogen because sometimes short-term effects like short-term studies are very different than long-term studies. And I look at both because I think it's extremely important. And because of long-term research on molecular hydrogen, not to be confused with Brown's gas because they're not, they're not the same. And I think purity is extremely important for long-term usage because I've seen issues with short-term versus long-term data. For example, one of the ones is when I saw the Kangen machine studies in Japan, they saw good short-term results. When it went long term, they saw certain problems on the way that it was affecting stomach acids, which is not a good idea because you want proper digestion. And so these are this is why this is important. But let's go over the data today because this is huge. And I'm going to see if I can maybe even show you some imaging. But the title of it says long term and daily use of molecular hydrogen. So here we're talking long term daily use. This is the way that I would personally do it. The way that I've suggested is some people think that you shouldn't do it this way. That's what they did in this particular study of molecular hydrogen. So specifically the type of hydrogen that I use and the ones that I talked to you guys about induces reprogramming of the liver guys. This in my liver metabolism, in my opinion, this is huge. And then of course, the way it's affecting uh, specific redox pathways. Now, as far as just some abstract information, it goes into how molecular hydrogen has emerged as a new therapeutic option in several diseases blah, blah, blah. So that's obviously pretty awesome. I think we've known a lot about stuff like that. In the introduction says it's to tasteless, odorless, you know, it's a colorless gas, which is obviously molecular hydrogen. It's pH neutral, doesn't manipulate pH. When you see things manipulating pH, in my opinion, you're not making the purest, best form of hydrogen. And all the different ways that you can apply it from hydrogen gas inhalation to hydrogen water, where you dissolve it in water, blah, blah, blah. And Ultimately, they, they even did a study one time where they even just, just for seven days, they used it on some athletes. And what they saw was that it improved their running performance, but also their torso strength. And I'm gonna actually show you some interesting information in regards to that. And then how it had the effects on, uh, in the blood on as far as oxidative stress markers. I mean, they're just kind of going into it. And then they go into, you know, the hydrogen, all the different ways that you could do hydrogen and how they were doing tissue sampling, blood sampling, tomographies, you know, bio, uh, biochemical analysis, just so much stuff. I mean, this was a very long study, a lot of information, super awesome. And ultimately, the results. So let's talk about this just a little bit. Uh, one of the things that I thought that was really, really interesting is how it appears that it's influencing the way the liver functions, in my personal opinion, in a good way. One of the biggest things is how it's metabolizing, and it literally says right here, H2, molecular hydrogen, influences liver metabolism of lipids, carbohydrates, amino acids, and nucleic acids. And really the way that it's affecting, you know, one of the, one, the biggest things is the way that it affects as far as fats. Like I've known people who use hydrogen and they don't do a lot of things. Like even I did some self-experimentation on myself where I literally quit exercising for almost five years. Probably not the best thing that I could have done, but I did it because I wanted to see how hydrogen could potentially either maintain my weight, maintain my muscle, certain things like that, and keep me lean because I do gain weight easily if I were to not take care of myself or exercise. And it was amazing what it did for me and other people that I've seen. And think about how many toxins we tend to store in our fat and how can this also help us potentially detox, clear our heads and go through that process. And ultimately, let me see here. The other interesting thing is how, and I'll read it right from here, how the data is suggesting the molecular hydrogen could also induce changes in liver immune functions. And I've seen things like this and I find this extremely amazing. And I believe that in more time, it's going to continue to do these transformations because I've experienced them as I go on. I'm so adamant about following my hydrogen protocol and I still see changes. And I was actually going to do a video on that just recently because I continue to see things happening. And I, and I thought that I was done with this and, it's, and as far as what hydrogen could do for me. And I think that every year is doing things and they can be very subtle, though. This is why you need equipment that the hydrogen is extremely clean. 
no chemicals like lye or sodium hydroxide and we're talking about molecular hydrogen i don't even like the pills personally i want the most purest form of hydrogen if i'm going to be using it for the long term just like food or water i want clean because it'll take the strain off the body and allow it to repair more in my personal opinion now let's look for example at some of the functions of the liver because it really seems to be affecting the liver a great deal and you can see things like albumin production now Albumin is a protein that keeps fluids in the bloodstream from leaking into surrounding tissues, but it also carries hormones, vitamins, and enzymes through the body. Now, bile production. Bile is a fluid, well, I don't need to go into, well, bile is a fluid that is critical to the digestion and absorption of fats in the small intestine. Guys, this is important stuff. Filters the blood. So if hydrogen potentially helps the liver work better or even work differently, I've known people personally, again, this is not claims or anything, but I've known people who've had fatty liver disease, cirrhosis of the liver, using hydrogen in specific ways, and those conditions basically disappear. And I've had many testimonials in regards to the way it works in the liver. Though I've also known, I'm not going to name any names, of doing hydrogen incorrectly for people who've actually had their livers get worse. And that's why I'm so adamant about it being clean. That's why I don't personally take things like the pills and, and use stuff with chemicals like lye because of the long-term repercussions. Um, okay, so also, so filters the blood. Obviously, I think we know about that. Regulates amino acids. Regulates blood clotting. Again, guys, think about this for a moment. If your liver can be potentially functioning better, would it be, and it says blood clotting coagulants, this is part of the function of the liver, are created using vitamin K, which can only be absorbed with the help of bile fluid that the liver produces blah 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 resists infections i have seen hydrogen again helping people with infections in fact the guy who invented my favorite device the japanese guy who invented the hydrofix actually has a daughter who would get chronic infections due to a unfortunate very terrible disease that she was born with and that's basically the whole reason he really wanted to make the best hydrogen machine in the world and I actually really think he did accomplish that. That's the reason I love it so much, because what would we do without this? We, I don't know, I'd have to resort to something I probably wouldn't want to. Okay, uh, moving on. Um, let's see, so resisting infections. And as part of the filtering process, the liver also removes bacteria from the bloodstream. I just think that this would be very beneficial in so many ways. It also stores vitamins and minerals. I have found, now this is an interesting with my own personal experiences, is that I continue to be able to utilize less food and yet my, everything continues to be functioning really well. I just think that my body's becoming more efficient at everything that it does. And I just, I love it, you know? And then of course, the way it processes glucose. And so it goes on and on and on, but let's go back to the long-term um, data in regards to how hydrogen is doing this, because I wanna show you, it clearly has this impact on the metabolism, clearly seems to have an impact on, on these liver functions and the way that it's ultimately, like I'll read right here, H2, again, molecular hydrogen, induced alteration of liver metabolism is accompanied by lipolysis. Basically, guys, the way that the liver metabolizes fats, it seems to be just a really, really, and, and they go into different types of fats. Like, I wish I could find it out here, brown adipose tissue mass, um, or was the other one? This, this article is so long, there's so much data in here. And just, just, and also the way it's affecting the body weight, fat mass, uh, the composition. I, I, I'd like to show you some images here because I think it, uh, the picture is worth a thousand words here. Let me see if I can share this with you. Well, these are the images I really wanted to show you guys. And this article is extremely long. I didn't want to overcomplicate this video, but you can see here what they're actually, they are looking at here. You can actually look here. How they're looking at different types of uh, subcutaneous and visceral fats. See the yellow, the green. The different changes and i'm telling you right now well you can just look the pictures are worth a thousand words look at all this fat and look it's dissolving it guys it's metabolizing it it seems to purify the body in a lot of ways in my personal opinion and again you can you can read through all this well here it says h2 so molecular hydrogen induces metabolic alteration of the liver and then it talks about how it's modulating in the redox pathways but there's so much to go through here and I really wanted to make it kind of as simple as I possibly could in fact if you really really want to check out this whole thing I'll try to put the link down below if you guys want but we're talking PubMed National Library of Medicine and you can see the long-term 
and daily use of molecular hydrogen. I mean, I use it in ways that other people don't suggest. I mean, I have my own protocols. And again, I just think, and you can see how long this is. And there's just massive amounts of information. But if you want the simple answer, simple answer, my personal opinion is it's altering metabolism. It's definitely cutting, you know, it's metabolizing fats, I think probably more efficiently, more effectively. And it's affecting even, like I said, the immune system, it seems, because of the way that the liver has such a connection to the immune system. And I just think it's doing some wonderful things. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. I hope that you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up. You know, it really helps. And then people who can really learn about maybe they're having some liver condition, maybe this might help. Again, no, I'm not making, again, any medical claims, but this is pretty amazing information, guys. So thanks for checking it out. Hope you found it helpful. And I'll see you guys next time on the next one.